are watching this tape, it means that you have authorization to view the following sensitive material. If not, you're going to jail. This is classified, classified information. You're not supposed to know this stuff, but you will now. As we all know, The Sims team hasn't released a pack in several months now, and it's nearing the end of the third quarter of the year, which has people itching for one. And The Sims team did say that they are releasing an expansion pack in the next couple months, but they haven't said anything since until last night. Well, they still didn't say anything, but someone leaked it, which is why this is classified, classified information. information. Some guy on Twitter, sorry, X, by the name of Anadius, posted a leak of the brand new Sims 4 expansion pack. And before I continue, I will just say it's just a leak. There's no way to confirm if this is true or not, but every single Sims 4 leak has been accurate. So I, I don't know. This is alleged, allegedly. I don't usually post this type of content, but I, I'm starved for a new expansion pack. A new expansion pack is a big deal. So, and don't blame me. Like, how did you get this fucking tape anyway? We're gonna go through the leak today, look through some of the screenshots, and then at the end, I'll tell you what I think, as if that fucking matters. The Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack will be released on July 25th. Pre-orders start on June 27th. Screenshot shows early buyer bonuses. There are no screenshots from the pack itself as of now. I, where do you people get this stuff? I don't wanna know, but I wanna know. I don't condone leaks, but, but it's out now, so. They've released a description on brief gameplay features, so we're gonna go through it point by point. First of all, July 25th, that, that's next month. Y'all better start saving your pennies. The Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack. Short description. Meet your match. Sounds like a fucking boxing ring. Long description. Explore romance as you match with alluring Sims and plan exciting dates in the Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack. Create your Sims profile for the Cupid's Corner dating app and start meeting matches. I had a feeling they'd bring back dating profiles. The Sims 3 had it, but it wasn't like a dating app like Tinder or Bumble because that wasn't a thing back then. Back then it was like MySpace for lonely people. In The Sims 3, you had dating websites that you could join and you could literally lie on them. You'd send messages to people that live in the same town as you and then you'd show up for a first date and there was a very good chance you could get catfished. So I imagine it would probably be quite similar in The Sims 4, except we are gonna probably do swiping left and swiping right, which begs the question, what type of profile pictures are they going to use? It's just Marcus Flex holding a fish. I won't say I'm super excited about this. I imagine it would be so much easier to do 100 baby challenges, but modern dating kind of sucks ass. So I feel like my Sims are just gonna be even more depressed. New intimate interactions like cuddling in bed or meeting for a seductive dance are waiting. Seductive dance? What classes is a seductive dance? Like twerking? Can we can we twerk? I really hope the Sims team adds twerking now. Like I never thought about it before, but I really hope they do. I can't imagine it being slow dancing because slow dancing came with my wedding stories or growing together. Which one did it come with? It came with something. We already have that. But seductive doesn't mean romantic. Just like shaking my ass at the club. Also, new intimate interactions is a very interesting descriptor because when I think of that, I think of The Sims 2. The Sims 2 was a very horny game. I don't know. Some of the romantic interactions in that game were borderline softcore. I'm sorry. It was... I was a child and I shouldn't have seen what I saw. I'm not opposed to it being brought back in The Sims 4. I just don't know if I'll be able to show it on my channel. It just depends what they mean. I don't know. It's very interesting. Whether your dynamic ends up steamy or strained will depend on what your Sim finds attractive. Pay special attention to those turn-ons and turn-offs. Okay. We have been asking for turn-ons and turn-offs since fucking forever. And I am glad they're making a comeback, but I'm a, I'm a little bit conflicted. Wow, a Simmer isn't happy about new features being added that they've been asking for. I'm not upset that it's happening. It has nothing to do with that. Turn-ons and turn-offs feel very akin to a chemistry system, which we technically have in growing together, which is what confuses me about this already. There's a fucking hair in my mouth. Growing together gave us a very loose chemistry system where you won't get on with certain types of people so that your relationships with other Sims felt a lot more dynamic and realistic. So I'm trying to see where a turn-on and turn-off system could mesh with that because it's tech we already have have it. We do. So would a chemistry system be different between platonic relationships and romantic relationships? So maybe you're attractive to a certain type of sim, but you have bad chemistry with them. So your relationships are always doomed. I feel like that's a good system, but it just feels more like something that you would get in an update rather than something you would have to pay for, which I know is something that people really get mad at when you say. I know it's like a sim or red flag, but like, am I wrong? And at the same time, it's very eerily similar to growing together. So it could have been in growing 
going together, which I know is another thing that people get really mad at when you say, oh, this could have been in another pack, but am I wrong? Purchase now to get a heartbreak happens bonus item. Not all love stories have happy endings. Embrace a little heartache with the Crimea River eyeliner, cuddle up with the new Herbert Hart plushie, and start your single life with the basic breakup double bed. Your ex took the bed, but not your dignity, mostly. Available when you pre-order. Okay, all right. You're trying to sell it to me now. There actually is an image of the pre-order items. As you can see, we have the very depressing bed with a body pillow underneath it, which is fucking hilarious. This is the incel bed. Is that Hatsune Miku? We have the Crimea River eyeliner. I'm not like relatively excited about this eyeliner. I think it would be cool if every time your sim cried while they had eyeliner on, it turned into this look, but they wouldn't do that. Some of y'all are control freaks and wouldn't be able to cope with that. And some plushies I don't give a fuck about. Plan hotter dates. Check the Cupid's Corner app for matches that make your sim's heart flutter. Then set up a date with the new date planning system. You'll get to choose where to go and what to do, crafting romantic rendezvous that will leave sims swooning. Sims can connect by playing games, cuddling in bed, or taking the romantic blanket to a beautiful spot for a special moment. A date planning system doesn't sound exciting for me just because it sounds very similar to my wedding stories where you got to fully customize what you did at your wedding. Uh, we, we all know how we feel about my wedding stories. I imagine this version would probably be like you pick what activities you decide to do on the date. Necessarily isn't the most exciting because it'll just be different tasks you get to finish to go on a successful date. Like I'm not saying it's bad. I do think that would be a good improvement, but it's, it's I'm not excited about it. It also mentioned connecting by playing games. You just bring Mario Kart to your date and you're both fucking yelling at each other the whole time. I played Mario Kart my first day with my boyfriend. It actually went really well. They also mentioned a romantic blanket, which I imagine is just a fucking picnic blanket. I hope it's not like you take it and then you woohoo in public, in the public park, in the blanket. Like that one video, that, that was something. Speaking of which, there better be like five new woohoo spots in this pack or I'm not buying it. Well, I'm still gonna buy it because it's my job. All about attraction. What works for your sim? Turn-ons and turn-offs will determine how attracted sims are to each other. They can include interests, interactions and more again with the interests, interactions and more we have this we literally have this in growing together and again i'm not complaining that they're flushing it out more i do think it will be really exciting and will add a lot of depth to your sims relationships it's just weird that you didn't flush it out from the beginning that's all i'm gonna say discover these as your sims get to know their partners build relationships and maintain romantic satisfaction sim sims will like and dislike different interactions partners might have different satisfaction levels how sims interact with each other will also also affect whether their relationship dynamic is wholesome, steamy, strained, or unpredictable. Now, romantic satisfaction does sound very interesting because it's giving off the assumption that your sims can have one-sided relationships, which begs the question, can your sim decide what they value in their relationship? It would be really interesting to see if you can pick your sim's love language. I feel like that would work really well for like gold digger gameplay, where your sim can value receiving gifts over like words of affirmation or just spending time together, which also begs the question, does this mean that your sims can have non on committal relationships or expectations within their relationship. Your marriage falls apart because your sim didn't have woohoo three times a week. Where is my government mandated woohoo? Also, the whole thing about relationship dynamics, once again, sounds a lot like growing together because you do have relationship dynamics and growing together, but they're platonic. So this is giving the vibe of relationship dynamic, but like in a relationship, not like a platonic relate. You know what I you know what I mean? Basically, we have relationship dynamics already, but this one seems like it's going to to be specific to romantic relationships, which is weird that they're trying to stretch one mechanic over two packs, but uh, mm, don't be negative. Don't be negative. For lovers of love, romance isn't just a word. It's a skill that unlocks seductive interactions. Finally. Fun fact, The Sims 4 was actually supposed to have a woohoo skill, but they took it out before the game actually came out. So I'm glad that this is coming back. I mean, it's a romance skill, not a woohoo skill, but like weird that they'd leak this on Pride Month. What about all the asexuals though? For Sims with romantic aspirations, romance Romance is a way of life. Truly hopeless romantics can even become romance consultants and make a career out of loving love. As they rise in their career, they'll earn new ways to promote love and maybe find some cute heart-shaped furniture in their inventories. I don't ever want to hear any of you fuckers say, when are you playing Kitty Powers Matchmaker again? We have Kitty Powers Matchmaker at home. I don't know if it's a matchmaking career, but it heavily implies that it's a matchmaking career. I don't necessarily know what promoting love means. What does promoting love mean? What does promoting love love mean. Also, heart-shaped furniture? Don't tease me right now. If you're not bringing her back, I don't want to hear about it. Date nights in an unforgettable
unforgettable city. Fall in love with a gorgeous city made for romance. Ciudad Enamorada has three neighborhoods that exude charm with plenty of places for sims to meet, flirt, and even woohoo. There's even a new singles hangout lot trait that'll attract available sims to come and mingle. Come and mingle. Immediately, the city sounds like it's either Latin American or just Spanish. They teased that it would be a city of love. Finally, some Spanish or Latin American representation that isn't a fucking destination world where you just steal their artifacts. It also says that it will have three neighborhoods, so hopefully that means there are a lot of lots. It probably won't have a lot of lots. Now we're gonna have a look at the leaked pictures that came out. We already looked at the pre-order bonuses, but there is concept art for what the cover of the pack will look like. Usually these are placeholders, so I'm, I'm not gonna say that this is the cover of the pack. They're probably gonna change the name. Imagine all of this is fake. Like, none of this is real. They announced the pack, like, next week and it's just health insurance. The Sims pack. Hey, you'll die. I see you. I see there's a heart-shaped bed in the back. It does look like they have a lot of colorful clothing. Very floral, bright colors. I feel like they're making up for that kit that everybody wanted, but nobody got because the goth kit won and then I, I didn't even like that kit anyway. But it's that time to be alive. You can also see that Sims are feeding each other food, which is such a cute interaction. So I really hope that is in the game. You can see the aforementioned love blanket. It's a fucking rug. And booty calls. The one thing we all want. So uh, that was a lot of talking, but what do I actually think? Well, I can't judge anything until I've played it. <laughs> I don't even really like judging packs by the gameplay trailer, and this isn't even the gameplay trailer. This is just some guy on Twitter leaked something, and we all just kind of take it as gospel. Personally, I do believe the leak is real because all of the leaks that have happened have been accurate and real, but so far, I'm not seeing a lot of things that actually catch my attention. This isn't me trying to shit on the game. This is my personal take. If you find these features exciting, power to you bestie like, let's hope it's real but if we go off of the assumption that this is accurate and this is a real leak this doesn't look like an expansion pack that would have a lot of new exciting gameplay it just seems more like a mechanics rework same way that growing together added a lot of depth to your gameplay but it wasn't necessarily exciting if that makes sense don't get me wrong growing together is definitely a pack i don't think i could play without anymore but at the time and even now i don't think growing together was worth the money that an expansion pack would cost you. I mean, you can watch my Growing Together review up here. Unrelated, but it does seem like there are going to be a lot of new relationship parameters, which begs the question, are there going to be new relationship types? Are you going to have more casual relationships? Is polyamory going to be a thing? Can you set parameters for individual relationships? Because relationships are built on a solid base of foundation. So could you customize your relationship to have different boundaries? Because everybody's relationship looks different. Do you think Sims will autonomously dump you if you don't keep them happy? That would be really interesting actually. Overall, for me to get excited about this, I would want to see a trailer and I would need a little bit of convincing. But once again, these are just leaks, alleged leaks. So don't take this and run, even though I took it and run. Oh, but honestly, I want to know what you think. Are you guys excited for it? Do you seem disappointed? Do I look pretty today? Did you miss me? I don't even know how you found this fucking tape anyway.